Hello everyone, so we're gonna talk about the new PM apps that come out on the App Store now in January. So you're gonna see here that they are under the plate maintenance. So you're gonna see these two apps that will handle the notifications and the work orders processes. So let's start with the notifications. We start with a list of notifications where you can select types and priority. This is valid both for desktop and for mobile. So let's see uh, notifications created until today from the 1st of January. And there you go, a list, just click on one or click on more than one they, and you can actually have them open side by side. This is possible due to the Neptune Launchpad and of course you can go full screen and take it back as a part of your screen. So, But you can actually edit in separate uh, and add functionalities. For instance, here I'm adding a functional location and a plant to my notification click save and yes it's now saved so going to edit mode add a breakdown malfunction start and time and i can also add manually if i want to as well as i can add comments to it this will be stored back in acp into the notification regarding attachments i can actually use this if i'm on a mobile device to add directly from the camera or directly in from the file system. So I'm going to upload here some image, click and open, and it will be uploaded into the notification. So if I want to see it, you see it there, and you can actually see it. And now back to you can save the changes, and you can just continue editing if you like, and you can actually see the picture and reduce the size and enhance it to full screen again. So it's very easy to just see who did that, what, and some contact details, as well as the ability to do this and to create directly from here the work order. So the work order becomes open up from the notification and will get data from the notification. And it's also possible, of course, to change this by selecting and selecting another notification from the list. But let's just save this one and create a new work order from the notification. As you can see, there is a new work order number on top and the status is created. Um, you can see operations, go full screen, edit mode, Add a new operation if you like, and for a new function location or the same one, and add a duration for it with a unit. Click on add, and as well as request component. So you can actually add a new component to your work order by selecting the material. Let's select this material, add tan as a quantity, and add, save, and waiting for it. So here we have, and it's saved. Uh, but yes, there was an error, and that material is marked for the letition, so you can just change it into a different material. Select a different one, add a new quantity, and press save. And there you go. So here we have the notification, the work order has been changed. And let's change the status from created to released. And we can just close it and open now the work order app. So if you have the work order app, you can actually see the list. Let's see the ones that's been created today. Click on run and the list is updated. So here we go with the same status, the same work order. If we go and check the operations and the components, they are there. And let's just change the status again to completed. And we're now going to uh, confirm, add the actual work time, the units. And second operation, the same thing. And click on confirm. 
and the operation has been confirmed. So if we just run this again, you can see that the status has been changed.